Namaste and welcome to Forest Yogan Talks. I'm going to tell a story <laughs> as the sun begins to go down here. It's a story that a Buddha told, an enlightened being, and it was their favorite story. So a child wakes up in a cabin in Tibet and asks his mother if he can go see his father. The mother says, you sure you want to see your father? It's very difficult, long journey. The son said, yes, I'm sure I want to see my father. So the mother said, okay, go to sleep early. I'll make preparations and we'll leave in the morning. So they get up the next morning and they head up to the mountain pass. They get up to the first mountain pass, they look down in the valley, they see a cabin and the son says, is that where my father lives? And the mother says, no, we've got a ways to go yet. So they go down and up two more passes and the evening comes and they come to a pass, they look down, smoke coming from a cabin and the mother says, is that, the father says, the son says, is that where my, is that where my father is? And the mother says, no. So. They camp there for the night, they get up the next day, and they travel for three and four more days. On the fourth day, they get to the top of a mountain pass, and the sun looks down at a cabin in the valley with smoke coming from it. And the sun says, is that where my father lives? And the mother says, yes. So they hike down, it takes them an hour or two to get in front of the cabin, the son looks at the mother, the mother says, okay, you can go in. And it was the cabin that they left originally. So in a day retreat, I wouldn't use, I don't usually explain the meaning, but since we may not see each other walking down the street, we all like to travel. The main reason why we like to travel the experience, but part of the experience is that everything is new and fresh and vivid. If you go over to Europe, you know, you know that the, the way they mix the concrete is different than the way they mixed it over here in North America or in your province or in your state. So everything is different. When you get to the point where, where you live, where you walk every day is vivid and fresh like that, that's awakening. And what uh, that particular Vidyadra was saying in the story is, sure, we all have journeys, we all have uh, travels, but we don't have to go anywhere. To think that I have to go to India or Tibet to attain enlightenment, to awaken, that has to happen, is an obstacle. And I'll get, let you in on a little secret, which is not said much, but in the subtlest teachings, the highest teachings, it's said that once you reach the state of awakening and seeing the natures at play, our absolute nature, the communication from the absolute and the relative, and when you can see them all at once, experience them all at once, not just in absorptive states, but moving through the world, you realize that there was never a path to begin with. It was always there. There's no need to take a path to where you're at. So, something to think about. <laughs> I hope this helps you on the path of yoga and dharma. Namaste.